Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. So what I'm getting here um, intuitively, and I will check with the cards, but something here is very, very good. Ooh, look at that. The sun, the star, wow, the empress, and here is the hangman. Wow. This hangman is upright, and behind it is another hangman. All right. There's, um, I told you guys, yeah, queen of cups, wow, the judgment, and then the fool. Somebody here has, like, jumped to their own ending. Um, wow, the moon, illusions here, and the devil has been caught. Okay. So we, we, we see what's coming out in the cards already. Archangel Michael is not playing uh, because th there's a gift for you. There is a gift for you. You are indeed the chosen one. This gift, it cannot go to anyone but you. Here's the Queen of Pentacles coming out twice with the Sun card. There's a blessing that you hold. There's a blessing that you have or that you are coming into. It is 100% yours. There's a divine feminine and or masculine here that are both fully in their power. Let me tell you something too, because what I'm picking up here when it comes to um, those who really resonate with being a twin flame, if you're healing yourself, when you are truly with someone who I would say is Indeed, you're, I don't, I don't really like to say just twin flame, but like your actual, I'd say God ordained spouse, your kingdom spouse. What happens to one of you is most likely happening to the other, good or bad, right? Um, sometimes the two of you could be on different timelines in some type of way. Um, your frequencies may not always match, but at some point they will, okay? And... Because if you see here, you see the star, you see the sun, but there's a feminine and there's a masculine on these cards. And in this particular deck, this empress is of empress who is fully um, evolved as a divine feminine. This is not somebody here who's new to the game. This is a divine feminine who has been true to the game indeed. And so you have the hangman here with another hangman. Somebody here has reached a certain level of enlightenment. They've become fully awakened and aware to a person, to a journey, to an idea. There's also a lot of sacrificial energy that has been happening. So you and or someone else, um, whether separately, separately or together in another life, most likely were sacrificed. Okay. Um, or the two of you, you were not sacrificed, but this lifetime they're trying very hard to sacrifice. You take it however it resonates because this message is going to resonate differently for, for everyone. However, someone here was sacrificed and they were able to move out of it. Yeah, you may have experienced some delays. Yeah, um, something could have been uncomfortable. But at the most, for the most part, you should be extremely grateful because you made it out. And I'm going to touch on the vision that I had. But right now, Spirit just kind of has me here. Someone here is facing judgment because they were creating some type of illusions here. Someone was absolutely trying to deceive you um, energetically, spiritually, emotionally. Um, th there's been a lot of manipulation here in 3D as well as in the 5D in the spirit realm. But this, this, this devilish, demonic type of energy, whatever this darkness is, someone here, they took another attempt. And I'm all of this is going to make sense in just a moment. Um, because it, it really matches with everything I've heard. Somebody here, there's a queen of cups and there's a temperance here. Um, you could be a queen of cups. Um, there's Sagittarius here with the temperance card. This could be one person. This could be two people. Okay. Both feet here are in the water though. So someone here is completely emotionally balanced. Something about your energy right now can easily transmute any type of um, emotional disruption. Okay. Okay you're able to transmute and, and turn bad energy into stuff. So someone here has tapped fully into their healing power and ability. The Empress is here with the star. This is for sure a divine feminine here who has completely made it out of some type of um, maze or cycle or matrix or whatever you may want to refer to it as. This person is indeed a healer and this person is in their, their north node. They're in their true north. Somebody here has tried to take your destiny from you somehow by um disrupting causing disruptions to your your energetic field your aura or whatever 
The Queen of Pentacles is out here twice, but somebody here, you 100%, you have a pentacle. This pentacle, this is something that is tangible, and then it is the sun. It's like something here has been passed down to you, or it's just like it's in your blood, it's in your DNA. Something is 100% rightfully yours, and it has been since you were a child, since you were born. You were born as this golden child, and you have these golden opportunities Um and this really, really blessed, like, divine path for yourself. The problem, though, is that someone here has absolutely come in and they've tried to sabotage this. Someone wanted to destroy this contract, but they were hoping that you were still in this energy as, like I said, like a, um, almost like a, a young spirited angel, like being very young in your journey. Again, this particular empress in this day, this is not your original empress. This empress is someone who is fully like i hate to use the word um, i'm just gonna say it fully evolved okay and you're coming out here also with this temperance which if you see here this temperance like i said this temperance is fully balanced now before on your journey you've always been an earth angel but you were still trying to figure out who you were how to do certain things how to transmute so somebody here has most likely indeed um tried to spiritually attack you okay this here came to a, a very abrupt and quick end because of the energy that you're currently standing in. Not only are you in that energy, you also have someone else around you possibly or coming towards you that has the same divine energy as you. It's like there's two people out here who have some very, very specific um, DNA, light codes, sometimes something here has been activated between two people and it's very, very specific. So that lets me know that the two of you, most likely you have some blessed divine path and a contract together where the two of you are supposed to birth something together. Okay. It could be a child. It could be a business or something, but it's two specific people. It's a divine feminine and a divine masculine out here. Somebody here tried to attempt <clears throat> I'm here again, and here my throat is acting up because this is, I know that this is the truth 100%. Um, somebody tried to disrupt this, um, this energy, this, this, I'm hearing frequency. It's something about your frequency. I'm hearing the word axis. Um, so somebody, somebody is using astrology, okay? Somebody is using astrology heavily or um, I'm hearing energy grid. So somebody here is very well versed when it comes to science, astrology, metaphysics, quantum physics, and stuff like that. Now, and it's no coincidence that this I, this reading started at eleven eleven. I had no, I, I didn't even know that we were in the eleventh hour. You could be a life path number one. Eleven eleven could be very significant. Um, you could be wishing, praying, manifesting. Um, obviously, it's a new moon in Taurus, but we're going in now into Mercury retrograde, but there's a lot happening with Saturn and with Jupiter bringing these really big divine blessings. Somebody was coming in, obviously, to take a blessing from you. They were coming in to take it out. Whatever this, this plan is, it was a very, um, I'm hearing, elaborate plan and scheme, okay? It was very elaborate, meaning somebody here, they invested a lot. But again, when they went to attack you, this was completely destroyed because they attacked you under the impression that you were this temperance person who, like I said, was still trying to balance out your emotions and your logic. Your emotions and logic are completely balanced now. So energetically, for somebody to work against you with a hex, a curse, or anything else, you still will have to be able to feed into the energy for them to be able to, for it to like really stick to you, right? Archangel Michael is all over this and it's just like, wait a minute, what, what did you think you were doing? There is indeed like a new contract, a connection, a path, a partner for many of you. Take it however it resonates. And Archangel Michael is like, I don't know who this is, but they're standing up for you 100%. It's interesting, too, that you have two kings of swords here. It's like you and another person because this reading, it is two people. I feel strongly like I'm talking about kingdom spouses, you know, divine counterparts, twin flames, whatever you want to refer to them as. It's two people who have awakened at the same time. And the both of you may work very closely with Archangel Michael because Archangel Michael it's like one of you or both of you want to stand up for your life path. Now, you may not even know this person. 
Or if you do know this person, you may not be in a relationship with this person, but the two of you are being brought together for something very specific. You both work with Archangel Michael. So Archangel Michael, like I said before, if something happens to one of you, it's happening to both of you. And it's bringing me back to a reading that I did a few months ago where I was saying it's almost like someone has tethered themselves to your chakra system so that they will know when you are being attacked. Somebody here is, I mean, with this type of energy, somebody for sure could be very, very gifted with spiritual, psychic, prophetic gifts. So somebody here is aware of like when an attack is coming or what to do. Let me, I have to get into this intuitive message and I'm going to come back to this. Okay. These are the, these are the things that I was, I was hearing. Um, let me, let me, let me just explain to you. Um, just rock with me for a minute, how this is playing out. So I said the other day, April 19th research shows is the beginning of a very serious, um, satanic ritual. Um, and it is, um, it is very, very important for human sacrifices with an emphasis on children. April 19th is the day that starts. It's a 13-day ritual, right? Some of you, what I'm what I was seeing in the in the in the spirit is for a lot of you, it's like you've been targeted. Okay. It could have been a friend, a family member, a lover, a group, a stranger, whatever. You've been targeted. Okay, and for some of you, I'm, I'm being drawn to this because I don't even know why these cards are. Maybe you have um, a sacred union, right? A sacred union within yourself and possibly with somebody else. Somebody has always been aware of the fact that you are the supernatural divine being or whatever. And they targeted you with the intent to steal something. So what I kept hearing was attempted robbery, attempted robbery. Now, I want you to make sure that you understand as above, so below. What, what's happening here in the earthly realm, the 3D, usually is to give you a, an understanding of also what's happening in the 5D, okay, in the spirit realm. So some of you lately, you could have been dealing with, you know, every, the collective, we've been talking a lot about hacking and stalking and spying, right? There are people watching you, tracking you, hunting you down, monitoring you. These people are, they're like past life karmic energies here in this lifetime. And they are determined to keep you from ascending, okay? That's your Jezebel, your Judas, whatever. Let me try to stick to this. So, it's like going back to me here, like the, the, the axes or whatever. Somebody here knew of a specific date time down almost to the to the minutes the seconds of when to try to um extract i keep hearing i've been hearing the word extraction all week some of you could have been recently having issues with your teeth you could have had an extraction a wisdom tooth extraction or whatever that may be specific a wisdom tooth extraction obviously that's wisdom somebody is trying to extract your wisdom they want your knowledge they want your power they want your dna they want something from you and it was an appointed time most likely where they knew that you were coming right into this perfect balance, this perfect state of balance and harmony, right? Where you were being attuned to a higher frequency, where they were going to come in and extract whatever this gift or this ability or whatever it is. Because they want whatever is opening up to you here in Taurus season or during Jupiter season. Whatever Saturn and Jupiter is bringing you, it's a divine blessing. The, the whole goal was to show up and get it. So I'm seeing like a bank robbery, right? It's like somebody here, they, they have um, they have the perfect set of people. I'm like, um, I'm seeing the movie Three Brothers right now. So this could be like three men or whatever. It doesn't have to be men. It could be anybody. They have the perfect crew. They've got the, the car. They got the getaway person. They got the mask. They got the duffel bags. They, they got everything they need, right? Something happens though. Somebody is sent out. Okay. Now, for a lot of you, what you don't realize is that somebody has already prepped you for this. Meaning, they somebody has already come in and they've like wired something. They've hacked something. They've been monitoring you, right? Whoever they sent in probably didn't do exactly what they were supposed to do the right way. So something there, there's been um, uh, 
I'm hearing a lapse. So somebody could have been um, subscribed to something. Something has changed where somebody hasn't been able to have the same eye on you. Okay. Um, that was assisting them in attacking you in the spirit. So somebody else comes towards you, right? So these people, they're sending different people and energies towards you. Somebody else comes in and they're like, yeah, we got, we got this person. We're ready. We got this divine feminine. We got this divine feminine uh, masculine. So they're, they're now ready to attack. The whole operation is set. I mean, but it's something about the timing. It has to be at a certain time. I'm, I'm talking down to the minutes, to the seconds, right? And if you know about like full moons and new moons and stuff like that, you know, they will tell you the exact time of different transits and everything. So somebody is like, you know, the energy is going to be the, the, the highest at this time, blah, 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 blah. So they've had people literally, this could be friends and family of yours, like communicating with you. Um, they're hiding behind different profiles. They're trying to beef you up and butter you up in a way so that you're in this very happy, um, loving type of energy because they really don't want to piss you off right now because they want your highest vibing energy right now. They want you to feel like you're safe. So this goes back to your security and your protection. So, and I'm, I'm seeing like, the bank robbery situation it's an attempt to rob but i'm also seeing your house so for some of you it's like there could be a problem let's say with your alarm they send somebody out well they could have sent somebody out that was crooked corrupt well somebody else comes in and they fixed whatever issue the first person sent in because before somebody came in and, and maybe they planted cameras or something like that it's been something shady in the past like I said, this whole operation, it was very carefully thought and planned out. These people get down to the day of where they're going to rob your house, your, maybe the bank. The reason why I'm saying a house and a bank is because it's something from you spiritually, which is your home, your dwelling, right? Where your, where your soul, where your spirit dwells. But the bank significance is because it has a lot to do with your finances or your investments, your inheritance, or something that is due to you. These people show up to your house and they're like, they in, they're in, right? They forced you in, they're in your house, they're ready to go. But they tell, I'm, I'm saying that, like they're telling you, put your code in, right? Because your house is protected. They forced you to, to put the code in. But this is what they don't know. You have a duress code. Mm, come on, Holy Spirit. The code that they see you put in is not your actual code. For some of you, it's like somebody has already put you in a situation to test to see how you will react in a crisis. Right? And they thought that from that particular situation that they had you figured out. But see, when you're truly divine and you're protected, you always have a duress code. And it makes me think of a few days ago where I said in a reading, be careful those people who are truly high priests, high priestesses especially, because your power comes in the sacredness of your knowledge. That's why we're getting that, um, that wisdom tooth extraction, right? When people can't, when they don't know how you're firing it's very hard for them to figure out how to fire at you. When they don't see you, when they don't know what you're doing or how you're doing it, it's very difficult for them. They attack you, but they never know how you're coming at them. So somebody has already attacked you most likely, and they're trying to figure out, okay, this is how this person reacts or responds to this type of thing. So energetically, we're going to bait them in, and we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Or if you get to the house, you know, I'm almost sure that this is the code or they keep the, 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 um, the key under this pot on this side. They already have all of this planned out. But at the last minute, something that nobody knows, nobody has seen, they've never seen you do this, they've never heard you do it, it's the duress code. If you have an alarm in your home or anything like that, you know a duress code is a code that will act and allow you to pretty much send a silent alarm to the authorities to show up. So your person, this person now is in, they're in your house, they're in your your bank account, they're in your energy, 
and instantly they're shut down by the cops or by we should say your spiritual team because Archangel Michael is sitting up there looking like really <laughs> this is what you thought you was gonna do but this is this is why I'm telling you guys understanding the art of war a lot of people are so quick and I'm, I'm not here to tell you what to do what's not to do when you fire back at people when you're still trying to figure it out this, this reminds me a lot of people when they first get into magic and stuff like that they don't really know what they're doing everything is trial and error right but see that your enemy is watching you and they're trying to figure out what what is your weapon of choice so that they can always have a big weapon when you fire back and you return in the center and you're doing all this you're going back and forth and you're letting them into your energy you're letting them know how you're coming Somebody here has already upgraded and said, no, I'm not going to do that. Because I already know my duress code. I know my duress code. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to let you follow through with your plan because I already know God got me. That's how you really understand about true divine connection and, and true power. It's silent. The duress code, it's like, in what I'm seeing, it's like, these people, they, they show up at the bank, and I mean, they got all the money, they done went in there, the safety deposit boxes, they've cleared everything out. But somebody in the bank knew the duress code. There was no alarm that went off, the gates didn't come dropping down in front of the, the door, nothing. They were able to get in, get whatever they wanted, how they wanted it, all of that. And then, boom, it's like, as soon as they walk outside, So it's like whoever this is or whatever it is, they got in, but they only got to see. They got to put their hand on what they wanted for a second. All of this planning, and all of this hacking, all of this spying, whatever they've done in the spirit and in here in, in the 3D, in the earthly realm, for that, that, that golden moment, they still could not get out. It's because of your spiritual duress code. No, and I just said this, nobody knows about certain people's DNA or, or when certain things are you. See, somebody here thought that, they, like they knew that you were going to have a certain activation. It's something about a, a, a spiritual activation or even a, a tomb or something within you. Um, all this temperance energy definitely makes me think about like shamanism, stuff like that. Um. Even like Reiki, if, if you ever heard about Reiki attunements, somebody knew like, oh, snap, like this person is about to level up even more on this God frequency. I know they got a big blessing to come. So these people, literally, they send somebody to your house and they're probably trying to get in your bank account too. They, they want everything because the goal was to take everything from you and just leave your body there and they move on and, and live happily ever after off of your energy and your riches and i'm telling you the duress code was sent out and everybody been stopped you got archangel michael out here and, and twice like what did you honestly think that this like we saw everything that's the reason why it's like the other day god and archangel metatron, metatron has been keeping keeping record of everything like really night of swords here and the lovers for some of you it's like somebody and I, I don't like to make readings everything about like another person, but it's, it is true. You have a divine contract with a partner and the two of you together are going to inherit so many blessings because both of you are DNA coded and activated for something that's happening. And it is something about these transits or the timing where it's like you're about to inherit everything. Like all the spell works, all the, the curses is gone. And again, too, let's not forget, this. it was a sacrifice here. Somebody had, I mean, the, the, the whole goal was to either sacrifice you or somebody that you're connected to, whether you have met that person yet or not. But because that person is energetically pretty much like tethered to you, one of you, if not both of you already knew to call in extra protection. So whoever this person is on the outside that's coming in to rob, steal, kill, and destroy, they they were they didn't realize it, but their plan was never gonna work. But I'm telling you, for some of you, as you sit back and you think about this, you're gonna realize, like, wow, 
That's Some of you, it is literally has even been like people coming to your house. And they've been planting things. They've been watching. They've been monitoring. They've been surveillancing you. And they're really trying to figure out, well, what are you doing? Because for some of you, you probably don't do anything as far as magic. They're like, what is this person doing? They're, they're keeping such close eye on you. They're like, well, I, they don't see you doing certain stuff. You know, they're probably trying to access your bank accounts to see, are you transferring money? Are you paying somebody to do? What are you doing that's keeping them out of your energy? They can't believe it. They're like, okay, well, I don't see her or him in the house doing anything. This person, they don't really leave home. They don't go anywhere. They live a pretty normal life. Okay, they're paying somebody to do this work. Because I'm telling you, somebody here has been watching your bank account and your daily life closely. They're trying to figure out where is this protection coming from. It's within you. It's your wisdom. It's the wisdom to. Even when you extract it, the wisdom is still there. And see, that's what somebody done. Even when they come in and they try to steal something from you, it's, it's in you. It's in your blood. It's in your DNA. You really can't steal anything. <laughs> Physically, yeah. But I mean, like they really, somebody here was being very logical. Like, yeah, if we, if we take this, they're going to be without. We're going to use it for ourselves. And it's like, no, it's a duress code. That earth angel does not have to scream, yell, or do anything. It's a protection that you hold that no matter what, if you're in danger, you're protected because you have to be here. And if you think about, if you pay attention to like what I'm saying with the vision, it's like people, angels are everywhere. We talk so much about the demons and the bad people, but angels are everywhere. There's always an angel that has a duress code to call in that angelic help. So it's like you and somebody in the bank and somebody wants to rob it. Somebody in there knows the duress code. But see, most people, they're, they're expecting you to boom, push the red button, push the big red button, right? That's what they're hoping. They're hoping that you're going to, you're going to, you're going to return the magic back or you're going to. You're going to call on a priest or a high priestess to hex or curse. They're hoping that they will see you do something that will give them confirmation of how you fight back. But there is nothing to see. They don't see you doing it. But it just destroys them. Whoever this message is for, you have nothing to worry about. Stay vigilant always. But what you really should be focused on is if you don't know what your spiritual duress code is, you need to figure it out. And you're going to have to walk in that power and authority of knowing that like, yeah, <laughs> you're very much upright. Okay. There's nothing small about your energy. This is the traditional son. You're not a baby. You've grown up in the spirit. 100%. This star card, this is not the star card of somebody that's on bended knee. No, you're completely upright. You're you're like there's an activation within you that has taken place. But see, the people who have been watching and monitoring you, they knew that this was happening. But the goal was to come in and sacrifice you to take this energy for themselves. Heavy emphasis on these groups. And I said this the other day, it's like the, it's like they were gonna ra they want to ration your energy out like because it's so grand it's so much. Everybody like everybody obviously if if everybody is a part of a scheme a scam a setup everybody wants a piece of it everybody's getting a percentage. So everybody's like well yeah we're gonna sacrifice this person and you know this person well I, I hope I can use that energy for a little bit of money and I can do this or. For some of you, it's like this could be a past friend, family member, or lover. This person here thinks that like they're going to take care of their entire family off of your energy. They want to heal their bloodline with your energy. They want to manifest wealth and abundance with your energy. They want to take care of their kids, kids, kids with your energy. But they need your security. They need your abundance and they need your essence. They need this. That's why the vision is in, it's the house and it's the bank. 
They're attacking you financially. They're attacking you spiritually. They want your energy. They want your blessings. And it's, it's I mean, literally, King of Swords out twice. This is our, this right here is somebody here who is fair and just maybe like a, a government official, military person, um, a, a legal authority of some sort, an attorney, somebody who can work with you or for you here on the earth realm. But you also have Archangel Michael in the spirit realm also helping you. So it's like you're protected on all timelines, planes, realms, and dimensions. And somebody is constantly like, how? What is what is this? Why can't I why can't I take you down? Why can't I beat you? And I did a reading a few days ago, and you can even look at my community post, or maybe it was last week. And it's, I guess it's a movie or a show, and it's called 50 to 1. And if you look at the picture I showed, I was saying it was it's almost like um let me see if I can find the picture. 50 to 1 in ritual killer. So you you for sure could have had a whole group of whatever type of people they, they these are that honestly thought that at the, on this day at this time like I said and, and I, it probably has a lot to do of course with this ritual and and, and the satanists or whatever they know about it they were certain that this week with. Mercury going in retrograde and the new moon in Taurus, like they were going to put you back in an old timeline, make you go down memory lane and and make you freak out and and have your crying spells and you know you overindulge and get in this low vibrational energy where they could come in and attack you. But see, it's it's something that they're doing. With you energetically where it's like they want your energy to go up and then they want it to go down. They want it to go up and they, they want it to go up so that they can extract the goodness out of it. But then they want it to go down so that they can attack you. So you'll have people come around you and it's like they're nice to you one minute, then they're mean to you. They're nice and then they're mean. They're hot and then they're cold. They're doing this to you because they're trying to figure out your temperament. Temperance. They want to know how far can we go with that person. What's going to make that person break? Do they break if they broke? Do they break if they get sick? Are they? Will they be broken if we're, if we, I, so somebody here has been in the background just doing everything. Test you, and, and, and the fact that you're just kind of sitting around like, hmm, okay. You know, I guess I'll go take a nap or go out, sit in nature or whatever. They're like, I don't understand. Like, why is this not shaking you? Why is it not breaking you? <laughs> Look, page of cups. Somebody here, they got, tried to get in your energy, and then they realize, oh, false alarm, empty victory. Because somebody, I'm telling you, they, they were able to get it in the cup, and then boom, they saw the cup was empty. <laughs> King of Pentacles. The will and the justice here. Look at this immature energy page. One. Somebody here did something real quick. And I'm telling you, it's something in this, this scheme, this plot or whatever against you. Something did not go according to it, the plan. Like, it's like some, they sent somebody towards you and either that person couldn't get, get at you or they sent somebody new in. Something happened. I, it's like if somebody was on their way to do something, they, they got in a car accident. Somebody got sick. Something will stop before it could really even get started. Wow. Knight of Cups. Look at that. When I see this person, this person is like they're on they're they're on the right path, but they're not looking at it, but they're still most likely going to get there. But this page, this person here, <laughs> I don't know. Let me see. Because it's like the high priestess is here in the world. This Knight of Cups, for some of you, this could be you. Like, I feel like this is you playing like you don't know what's going on, but you know. I feel like this Knight of Cups is you. It's like somebody here is, you know, looking like, look at this idiot. Look at this person walking. 
look at this person on this on this horse backwards. Are they are they are they crazy? What's going on? But see this horse. This horse is being guided by by angels. This horse knows to get you to wherever you need to go, regardless of how you sit on it. <laughs> I'm seeing I'm seeing a person in a Tesla, a self-driving car. It doesn't have to be a Tesla, but I'm seeing it's like even if you were driving under any type of influence, the influence for a lot of you could be you could be intoxicated with confusion, lies, deception. It's like God and the angels knew that something was going to come in and could possibly throw your discernment off. You were still protected. It's like driving under the influence. Like, how is that person going to get home? Oh, you're going to get home. If if your angels have to come in and drive the car for you, you're going to get home. This is you getting to your blessing no matter what. And somebody is like, wait a minute. And I feel with this page, somebody's looking like, wait, that person took, this person sat there and exchanged this energy. Because I feel, again, a lot of you, it's like you let this person in. And you played this, you walked this person right into their own trap for some of you. They're like, no, this person, they, they, they drank, they, they ate it, they, they did it, they, 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 they were a part of it. And now they're shocked, they're like, how? This horse is being, is, is being, your, your spiritual chariot is on autopilot, it's self-driving at this point. <laughs> Somebody's like, I don't understand, like, no. How did they still get home? You know, like, if you see a person and, you know, they've been drinking, like, are you sure you can get home? And I'm like, yeah, I do this all the time. You know, you, everybody knows the person. Like, yeah, I, oh, yeah, I, I, I also will, but I'll get home. And you're like, no, I really don't think that person. And it's, the, it's always that person you're just like, mm. This person's like, no, I'm going to get home. They are, and they get, that's, that's like, whoever this earth angel is, this divine feminine or masculine, no matter what, they're going to get to where they have to go. It's already written in their contract. And somebody is like, I cannot believe it because what somebody did is they they fed you a bunch of bad energy. Somebody could have even tried to poison you. They fed you something that was bad in hopes that you would not know how to get to where you were going. This magic, this hex, this curse, this plot, this plan, it failed. These magicians, whoever this, the leader is, the group or whatever, they're sitting around like, how on earth did this person set themselves free? How? Look, there's that cup again. Somebody's like, man, if anybody was to drink, if anybody else did this, like, there's no way. Some of you have been considered a miracle baby since you were grown. I mean, since you were born. It, they're like, it's a miracle. That person can't be human. It's, it's supernatural. Like, there's no way. Somebody seriously is sitting around just like, are you, are you, mean, you mean to tell me again? Oh, this was another thing, too, that I was hearing. For a lot of you, whoever has been doing this to you, they've done it multiple times. They could have even done this to some of you when you were a child. Okay, You've been targeted forever. Look at that, how beautiful that is. You're completely out of this, this past life karmic cycle, karmic cycle, matrix, timeline, whatever. You're completely out, right? Um, whoever the person, the group, or whatever it is that has been doing this to you, it's their third strike. I forgot to mention that earlier. I kept hearing, I'm like, what is that? So, legally, you know what I'm saying? Because this here, I'm getting, a, it's an attempted robbery. So, you can hear sometimes about people who because of their attempted robberies, they, once they get so many strikes, even if they have not actually committed, you know, the M word, taking somebody out, okay, they can still serve life, right? This person, whoever this is, or whoever, they may not have taken somebody out, they probably have, but because they have done this to you at least twice and they went to do it a third time and they got caught, they are forever cursed. They 
there's there's no getting out of this. Like this was their third strike. This is a as a repeat offender. This is this is somebody here who's already like a felon spiritually, and and for some in the three D and in, in the spirit, like this person has already committed several crimes. They're already a felon and on probation. And I feel like this person greed got the best of them. This person had probably stopped doing whatever this is that they're doing. Because I'm hearing somebody say, that's my old life. They had stopped. But when they came across you, or what, whatever happened, this person, they thought that whatever you have, they wanted it so bad, they took the risk. You know how you hear people, they're like, no, I'm, I'm out the game, right? This person got back in the game just for you, only to be permanently taken out of the game. Because they for sure have been caught. Because you're not, you're not even in the game. You're not in this game. This person was fighting themselves. You've already had your level up and got your ranking and everything. You, if you follow my channel, you guys know I always talk about, um, like, John Wick. Always. That, that's the energy that I see here. It's like that John Wick Kill Bill type of energy. Even, like... Recently, I talked like going to see the movie Creed. This is somebody who, for some of you, if you know them personally, because for some of you, you don't even know this person or these people. But if you know this person, this person has watched you and has been jealous of you for the longest. And let me make this clear to you. They could have more than you or less than you material wise. But spiritually, they hate your spirit. You have the spirit of a real champion, of a real warrior. You're undefeated. This person, no matter what they do, they cannot stop you. They can't block you. They can't knock you down. And this person came back. And uh, yeah, it makes sense. Like Creed, what is it now? Creed is the third Creed is out now. If you haven't seen the movie, you should watch it. I don't want to spoil it. But every now, it's like somebody, somebody did something to you that made you get back in the game but you were already undefeated you had to get back in the game to let somebody know listen don't play with me i'm still the uh, somebody here who really feels like they should have your spot it's like you have to really get in there and let somebody know like listen <laughs> first of all I'm not, i don't fight i'm not gonna fight you i'm not gonna play with you you know, it's, if you watch John Wick, it's like John Wick was pretty much like, listen, I'm going to go and live my life. I don't want to do this anymore. They took away from John Wick the one thing he loved about his, his, his wife. It's like to keep just aggravating him. Like, and, and you have to see how the enemy will trick you. They will force you into attacking them to keep you in the darkness. And that's why I talk about people who are into spell work and stuff like that. These people will attack you and they will make these attacks so personal. They'll attack you, your friends, your family, because they, they want to see how you respond. They're, they're only doing this so that they can learn more about you because truthfully, they want to be like you. They want to actually be you. That's the reason why the ones who win, you have a dress code. You don't train with anybody. <laughs> you don't go out with anybody. When it comes to the art of your war, nobody knows it. And that's what I'll be talking about when I say a true high priest or high priestess. You cannot access a real high priestess or hermit. You can't access them. A high priestess will never tell you everything that they know. Never. In fact, a high priestess may not even know all that they know. They have so much wisdom and knowledge. See, it's a very big difference between you being a witch, a wizard, a warlock, and you really being a high priestess. See, a witch can be taught anything by a high priestess. A witch, you can learn anything. You can sacrifice and, and you can make offerings. and what. But when you're born in, sworn in, uh-uh. It does not work that way. And for some people, because you are truly this earth angel or this high priest, high priestess or whatever, whatever you may want to label yourself as, 
you already have so much good karma from your past lives. A lot of you now are tapping back into who you were thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. You already have good karma. And that's the thing now. It makes sense. Saturn and Jupiter, you're tapping into your good karma and dharma. You have good karma from past lives that you're you that is being activated and given to you now because the same people who were trying to destroy you then they're here now trying to destroy you you helped them or you defeated them then and now they're still after you it's like oh no i talked maybe a week or two ago about the achilles heel if you read about the story of like esther her achilles heel in the in the, in the bible about esther if she were to approach the king without him giving her permission she would automatically be killed some of you it's like you're gonna free yourself your bloodline and so many other people because of your achilles heel that thing that you you really think it makes you super weak or the thing that everybody else thinks makes you weak is what's annihilating everybody and i seriously if you haven't seen the last movie creed you should watch it john wick too I don't really watch TV, but I, I went to see both of those movies, actually, within weeks of each other. But if you look at the movie Creed, it's people who have that um, passion usually have a dark past. And people will always try to come back to you when they cannot compete with you right now. <laughs> they know that they have no place in your future. They always want to try to drag you back to the past. But if you learn how to transmute that energy and you tap into those past memories that people are trying to send to you to attack you and you see how far you've come and you use that to fight them back, you will always reign supreme and be the undefeated champion. And that's what somebody does not understand. These people keep trying to spiritually bully you. They're going to force you to remember because the, the tr and the truth is. There was never anything bad about you. Most of you that resonate with this, you've always lived a set-apart life. You may have walked into a few bad situations when you didn't have the same awareness. But just as quickly as you walked into it, you walked yourself back out of it. And these people, they want to say, it's like, but you walked into it. It's like, yeah, <laughs> I walked into something. I got a, a smack on the hand. I walked out, but you became a felon. Because you kept doing the same thing. People want to blame you for their hardships in life. And then they're mad, angry, jealous, and envious because you're not sharing the same karmic debts with them. These people are trying to force you to share their karmic debts because all you have is good karma. You've already walked out of the world that they, that they are forced to live in with a real nice dress on, with a real nice suit on, Divine Masculine. You don't dwell in the same place. It's, and this is, a lot of people need to understand, just because we came from the same place does not mean that I'm obligated to stay with you because the truth is you cannot go where I'm going. People are, this is a lot of projection. People are so mad about that. Wow, death. Heavy Scorpio energy. It's death, rebirth, and a transformation. Somebody here, no matter what they've done, no matter what they have, don't have, title, profession, nothing. They're going to face this ending and, and be forced to recognize you for who you truly are. The magic is already in your hands. This Queen of Cups here, um, this is the same person here that's, that's under this energy. It is your love, your ability to be nurturing, caring, kind that is has allowed you to have all of these great things to manifest in your life for you. You don't have to be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a water sign, but it's something about your unconditional love. Cups is emotions. Your unconditional love is allowing you to manifest a reality. And this person that has been in your life, for a lot of you, look at this. Oh my gosh. I just want y'all to see because the decks are in and have. You see this person here? Somebody here has is very two-faced. This person comes to you like they have something to offer. Their whole goal is to take whatever you have. Going back to this Queen of Pentacles, somebody here has always held back 
because the goal was for them to hold back and keep whatever they have and take what you have too. Emperor in the reverse. And who was he sitting next to? The devil? The devil that dwells in, in this person keeps telling them to attack you. Somebody here has sold their soul to the devil and the devil keeps telling this fool to attack you. Somebody here, heavy Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries energy. Here we have Capricorn, Aries, and Taurus, and here we are in Taurus season. Let me tell you, it's a Taurus, a Capricorn, Virgo, possibly Aries. Somebody here may have Taurus, Aries, Capricorn. If this is a masculine, a distorted masculine, you see right behind the veil on this person. Or spirit is about to show you that you have been dealing with a person or you cross paths with someone in your life who literally was assigned to you by the devil himself. You were prey. This person has is like a real predator. You were prey for this person. They targeted you. They have been after you for a long time. This person, I, and I just said this a few days ago, this is like a past life karmic soulmate. This person in this lifetime is like a fatal attraction. This person, the only purpose that they have in this lifetime is to rob, steal, kill, and destroy. The first time they lay eyes on you, you may have thought it was love for some of you. This person, you will pray for the devil. You can go back and find my reading about being pray for the devil. That was also a movie. I never saw that movie, but the title got, got me. This, something, this is something even in your bloodline, your generation. It's a family hex or curse. This person was assigned to you. And you were meant to defeat this person. And I feel bad for certain people who um, don't really understand like the whole twin flame journey and the people who will constantly tell you to go towards this very, very um, evil type of energy because this is something that was meant to destroy you. The beast within this person wants to destroy you. I feel like when people truly meet like their, their counterpart, okay? The two of you, 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 you stand together in healing and evolving. No matter how dark your past, past life may be, that person is not going to like do everything in their power to destroy you. Somebody in your life, and for many of you, to be honest with you, it's a parent, it's a lover. They have done everything to try and sacrifice you. They have done everything to speak. This is like a, a friend, a family member, a lover who has been in the background competing with you. They're competing with you here in the 3D secretly because they're trying to be you in the spirit. This person has been behind every obstacle or challenge in your life. And I talk about the karmic cycles being around seven to ten years. I did a reading a few weeks ago and I said for some of you it's something very significant maybe about like um, 2014 yeah 2014 breaks down yep makes sense 2014 let me see 2013 two, 2014 breaks down to the number 7 we are currently in 2023 which breaks down to the number seven you met this person for some of you around that time there's not everyone's story but but i just want you to understand karmic cycles you had to finally see the truth about this person you may have met this person at the very beginning of your journey your spiritual journey for some of you or it, it may not have been the very beginning of your journey but it was the beginning of a particular karmic cycle there was the year of the number seven. Here we are now. You're entering. This is now again the year of the number seven. This person came into your life in that year number seven, which will be a chariot year. Their whole assignment was to block you. And here you are now. You're escaping. You've gotten out of it. And they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. This was a whole devil demon in your life. And it was assigned to you. This person does not want you to get out and see behind the veil and see who they truly are. This could for sure be, like I said, a lover, somebody that you really, you may have thought this was your twin flame. If it is your twin flame, I'm sorry for you. 
there is no amount of healing or awakening that you can do that's going to change this person. This person does not want to heal or become awakened. This person wants to rob still. This person wants to rob your bank and your house. It's a, it's a song. It's the closest I may ever get to heaven is you. The closest this person may ever get to anything even similar to heaven is through you. And they're literally feeling like if they come through you and take extract whatever is in you. And it's really, really sad because this person is very narcissistic. A lot of discarding energy. This person is just like, listen, I don't want you. I don't need you because you don't fit the lifestyle with this person. They want to extract out of you whatever makes them desire you. They don't want you. They want the thing in you that the, that the devil in them wants. You're pray for this person. This is a predator. Hear me like clearly. They don't want you. This person, does, they, they, like they have no interest in you physically. It's all spiritually and energetically based. This person, they see you in the spirit. 